everyone, I am Spagnum PI, and today we're taking a look at the brand new star card, the Back to Bomb. The Back to Bomb is a throwable star card that, when thrown against the surface, it will explode on impact. It explodes into a blue mist of mistiness that will heal you instantly if you walk in it or are in the explosion, and it will also not do any damage though, so it's non-lethal. But it has a 40 second cooldown regular and 35 second cooldown when it's upgraded. And as I already said, it heals injured soldiers that walk in the mist created when it explodes. It was all part of the May the 4th Be With You celebration. But how do you get it? Well, it's in a hut contract from Job of the Hut. You're going to have to pay 3,000 credits to get this hut contract, and you need to get a 5,000 objective score. Then, to upgrade it, you need to pay 8,000 credits, you need to heal 50 team members, and use 20 personal shields. Which, I mean, that's not incredibly hard. So here I am in a match of Droid Run, which, in my opinion, is probably the best game mode to get these missions done with. Because in... Car um, not Cargo Run. Although Cargo Run, you can do it, but it doesn't get as much objective scores for you because you're going to have to get a lot of cargo boxes. However, you get 250 um, objective score points from every droid. And as you just saw there, I was wounded there. I threw the back of bomb down and I was able to continue fighting and actually kill that guy. You may notice on the my health bar that there is a tiny little blue um, rim around it, border, um, perfect mine placement right there, but, and that is like an added um, bonus to your overall health when you have, I just killed someone with that mine, yeah. um, an added bonus to your health like, it's like a sticky goo layer that gives you more help. But, as I was saying, I think this is the best game mode to play because you get 250 objective points from capturing one one droid. And um, oftentimes you're gonna have to capture droids a lot. Um, perfect mind placement there also. I ended up killing myself when that guy walked around the corner. But nevertheless, oh well. Final droid detected. To but capture. as I was saying, it also provides a perfect opportunity for use you to use your personal shields for a very good benefit to yourself. However, the personal shields mission is after you get the objective score, so it's not really gonna help you. But if you want to continue playing droid run, it's still a lot of fun. Let's get and uh, as you can, you will probably see in a minute, it heals anyone. And I'm not sure if it heals enemies, but I'm. Not sure. Um, and then also the droid run also allows you to, if you're good, I guess, you can get that those level three traits in this game mode fairly easily because it's so small and close quarters and if you use a really good close quarters gun, you can also get that berserker trait, but I, this is supposed to be the back to bomb video. They're securing a droid. Oops. Stop them at once. But here I just rock it in, activate my shield, and I'm good to go. And bang, 200. You must not use the so, last droid. <laughs> you just saw there me get healed by a teammate. but. Yeah, I became a master berserker. In conclusion, this star card, I think, is a very nice addition to this new kind of outer rim um, expansion that is kind of more focused on just killing everyone. But the back to bomb <laughs> is very nice because it allows you to heal yourself and your teammates, possibly your enemies. Um, please say something in the comments if I'm wrong about that. I'll probably try that sometime soon. But, um, I think that it provides a much needed 
health, kind of a healer kind of um, role that you can play on a team. You don't get a lot of points for healing, but you do get some, which is nice. And then it also kind of helps your team to win a lot, especially if you're in really close quarter, close quarters. And there's a lot of people really close, and your teammates are kind of getting hurt a lot. Then you can just pop down a back to bomb and heal all of your teammates and really help your teammates to win the battle. So, anyway, what do you guys think of the back to bomb? Do you think it's a good start card? Do you think it's bad? I think that I will definitely be in. Um, Incorporating it, yes. Incorporating, incorporating, incorporating it into my gameplay. And although I usually use the jump pack, explosive shot, and pulse cannon as my regular start card lineup, I think that the back to bomb may be a suitable candidate to replace that pulse cannon. Recover the last droid. The droids are ours. Victory is in sight. <laughs> 